Okay, I've got Ashley here with me today. Hello, Ashley. Hello. Ashley has just finished a 12 week program with me, the Exhausted to Energize Method. Ashley is a very busy mum of three boys, aren't you? Tell us the ages yeah. of the boys. So my eldest is six and then my middle one is two and then my youngest is one. Yes, so you wouldn't know it because we've just been chatting for a good half an hour and I haven't heard a, a peep out of anyone. <laughs> um, and you also work as well. What do you do? Yeah, I'm a hairdresser, so I work, you know, a few days a week. Yeah. So it's tough, you know, trying to balance it all, but yeah. Yeah. And before you join me for the 12 week program, you actually done a three week program with me, which is not something that I run all the time, but it was kind of in response to lockdown to help with weight gain and craving. So how did you find that first of all? Yeah, really good. It, Cause I, I was always really bad at breakfasts. That was my biggest downfall. And that was one of the main focuses. Yeah, wasn't it? that's right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I re really enjoyed it, you know, made sure I had breakfast every day. And then that was what, gave me the push to you know carry on with you so yeah and so why did you yeah. decide to do that like you tried that you was feeling better why did you decide that you wanted to do more well it, just having the breakfasts made such a difference you okay. know like, it just gave me more energy really right um, okay. yeah and obviously there were so many other different recipes on there like you know little sweet treats that you could have and yes you know so yeah it just made me want to find out more really okay and then so when you uh, before you started the 12 week course what kind of stuff was you challenged by with your health well so yeah it was sort of the start of lockdown i just felt dead on my feet that that's how i would describe it and mm. um, i felt I, I literally had no energy at all. Um, I was having really bad digestion problems. Yeah. Um, yeah, just, I just felt awful. I Actually, I went to the doctors and said, you know, you need to give me a blood test because I was convinced I had some sort of illness. Yeah. Um, so I demanded some blood tests. Then they came back, you know, they said that everything was fine. So I was like, well, what, what is wrong with me? There's got to be something wrong. Mm. So then I just started, you know, you know, looking into other things. And then that's yeah. when I stumbled across you. Okay. And um, so I remember when we first started working together, so the digestive problems, you had a lot of like reflux, didn't you? Yeah, really bad reflux. I felt like my food wasn't going down. It was just stuck in the middle of my, you know, like, you know, like near your breastbone. Yeah. I just felt yeah. like nothing was going down. Um, my my bowels were terrible. Um, what you mean, yeah. like not moving regularly or? Yeah, not moving regularly. And then they'd go the opposite way yeah. and I, they wouldn't stop. Um, yeah, and then I was feeling sick all the time. It almost felt like I was pregnant. It was that sort of feeling. Like I felt so zapped of energy. I felt so sick. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was just, I had, there was so many problems and I just had no idea, you know, what, yeah. what it could have been. And I also remember during our initial chat, you was talking about your, um, it's kind of like the pain and the, and the um, problems along, along with ovulation. So tell us about that. Yeah. So the build up to ovulation, I would always feel at, like, feel at my very worst, mm. you know, I'd get really bad pain and, um, I couldn't get out of bed. It, it just used to zap me like really, yeah. really bad. And that was, yeah, that, I think that's where it all started. So I started noticing like a cycle. Yeah. Um, and, and now it's, it's improved, it's improved like, yes, 60, 60, 70%. You know, I still sometimes get a little bit, you know, sluggish around that time, but I can carry on. I can, yeah carry on with my day it doesn't affect me like as bad as what it did at nowhere near was it actually stopping you before then yeah yeah I couldn't I literally couldn't move I wouldn't be able to I, I remember ringing my mum one day and saying I, I can't parent I, I can't I can't parent because I felt that bad yeah that it would be the worst around that time yeah then It'd get a little bit better as the weeks went on, but mm -hmm. I just constantly felt awful. 
So was you kind of like dreading that time, like when you knew, knew it was near oh. ovulation again? Dreading it, because yeah. I knew that it was, it was coming and I'd just feel awful, yeah. yeah. And Whereas you, now, I kn- even though I know it's going to come and I was, you know, feel a little bit tired, but I yeah. just think, well, you know, that, that's probably just normal to feel a little bit tired. But like I say, it doesn't stop me. I can, yeah. I can just carry on. Yeah. And you're having lots of headaches and actually sometimes migraines as well. Was the migraines common for you? Yeah, I used to get them all the time, all the time. And then when I started with you, the 12 week course, I can honestly say that I haven't taken a paracetamol mm-hmm. in, in them in, since then up until now. Right, brilliant. So my, so my brain stopped. And what about headaches? Yeah, no, no headaches either. I wasn't, no, I haven't, I haven't. And I think that's down to hydration. Yeah. Because before I wasn't drinking any water, I would probably yeah. live on a, one coffee a day. Wow. But now, where, you know, I'm, I'm so hydrated. I think that that's got a lot to do with my headaches. Definitely, yeah. And so when you had all this going on before, you went to the doctors, you asked for blood tests, kind of came back clear. Had you tried anything else before other than the doctors? Had you tried, obviously, medications, so painkillers you've tried. Had you tried any, like, alternative therapies or diets or anything to try and change the ovulation pain, the headaches, uh, the tiredness? Any no, I, I, I didn't really. No, I didn't. I always used to try and, you know, think, oh, I better eat a bit healthier. Maybe that'll yeah. help. Um, did it help? Well, I probably what, what I thought was eating healthy. Right, okay. <laughs> it, yeah. it wasn't, yeah. Ah, so, okay. So you try things for yeah. yourself, but now you're kind of learning that wasn't necessarily the right things for you. Do you think that's no. right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. And then how did it feel to, obviously you got three young boys, I'm sure you, you know, you've got lots of outgoing, especially when you've got a baby, you've got so many baby things to buy. How did it feel to like actually invest in yourself? It felt great because... Wow. It, was, it was doing something for for me you yeah. know like you know I'm sure a lot of women feel the same you invest in your kids all the time it's all about the children isn't it but you know it felt so good to especially in lockdown as well because yeah. again having the kids at home it felt so good to put time into me yeah yeah so, so you didn't find that hard no, I mean, it was, it was a little bit tough because I wasn't used to it, mm. I wasn't used to, you know, putting myself first and doing all them things for me. So it was hard in that way, like thinking, right, I need to plan this, I need to plan that. But it's, it was, I enjoyed it because I knew that I was doing something for me and it would, it was, you know, going to be better. Yeah. So, so mum, yeah. mum of like three very young boys and working as well there's probably not many people who's much busier than you how was it actually fitting it all in into your life these changes um yeah like I say it was it was hard but but now but as as I went on as the weeks went on it just got easier and easier because it becomes normal yeah yeah it just becomes normality to to be yeah you know that change becomes yeah normal life then um but yeah because I wanted it so I wanted to feel better it then isn't hard you know when you want to feel better and you know that you are starting to feel better it then it isn't hard anymore yeah I remember after you had your last takeaway, you said, you said to me, I never want to do that again because of how I feel after that. So in comparison to how much better you've been feeling. Yeah, I think where I've, I've been putting so much goodness into my body and then, yeah, a couple of weeks ago I had a takeaway and I just, I can't, I was shocked at how awful it made me feel. Yeah. Never again will I have one. <laughs> <laughs> And so when we first chatted, I remember you saying that um, you'd put weight on during lockdown, which is really normal. And uh, Netflix and pyjamas were the new norm. I loved it when you said that. It had me laughing so much. So how do you, do you feel like, um, like happy with your body image again? Totally. Yep. Yeah, I do. I can't, I can't complain about that now. Um, yeah. I, I get up every day. I'm out, I jump out of bed. And I'm not even exaggerating when I say that, you know, whereas before, you know, I couldn't even wake up in the morning. 
you know, I'd feel, oh my God, I can't get out of bed. But now I'm, the kids are up, I'm up, yeah. I'm dressed, I'm ready for the day. Yes. Yeah. So, and that's what I've always wanted to feel like. You know, I remember always, you know, thinking, oh, you know, look at all these other mums, you know, just up and out with the kids doing lovely things. Whereas I didn't have the energy to do that. Right. And, you know, people would say to me, yeah, but actually, you know, you've got three young children, but I always know when I'm tired when it comes to the kids, but how I was feeling wasn't that sort of tiredness. Right. Okay. I it was something more. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so let's talk about energy because a lot of people who are in the fight fatigue group are there because they've got low energy. So you genuinely feel that it's really transformed your energy in making these changes. Oh yeah. My energy, I can't, my energy levels are unbelievable. Like I never ever just sit on the sofa anymore and think, Oh my God, I just want to curl up and go to sleep. I used to okay. do that. With, you know, like at about three o'clock. Yeah. I'd always, <laughs> Yeah, I'd always think, oh, I just want to, I just want to sit down and go to sleep. Yeah. But I never, never have that anymore. I just, I keep going now. Yeah, um, amazing. And so you say, so energy is better, headaches and migraines have gone and ovulation. So that pain was stopping you before. And you were saying that you feel like that's like 60, 70% better than what it was. Yeah, completely. Yeah. So I still want to work on it a bit, but I know that if I continue to yeah. you know work on it it will it will be fine yeah and that's what was just before i hit record we were just chatting about that saying like you can make such big strides in 12 weeks you can change your health so much but obviously okay. 12 weeks isn't the, the be and an end all yeah. uh, it's kind of really the beginning and so it's you know a journey to carry on and if you're 60 to 70 percent better with your ovulation pain in that time just what's c- going to kind of happen in the next three months i'm really really excited to um yeah to watch that journey for you yeah me too yeah it's amazing how much you can change your how how so much can change in your body within that 12 weeks yeah so and you've, you've really you've really embraced the um the plant-based lifestyle since we've been working together as well what's kind of brought that about yeah i just because i have really enjoyed eating you know a lot of you know plant-based foods like you know different vegetables that I would never have even tried before yeah Um, and I was always really bad at eating fruit and I never like you know like lentils and I've I've never I've never have tried things like that before but where I've enjoyed eating them yeah and it's just made me think well actually I don't I always used I used to eat loads of meat but I just I don't know I just think where I've enjoyed it so much I just thought I'm gonna you know, try, try more different. Yeah. Brilliant. So, yeah. Great. And so you showed up to every single accountability call. I don't think you missed any weeks at all. How mm. did you find those calls? How did you find the support? Oh, it was brilliant because it gives you, you know, come into them weekly calls and, you know, you listen to everybody else as well and you yeah. get tips from them. And, you know, if they, if somebody else says, oh, I did this or I made this, it then, you know, gives you that encouragement to to do that as well and think oh I'll try that um so yeah the support's brilliant it's so I think it's so important to attend the weekly calls yeah yeah because it can make you if you've had a bad week and you think oh I've had a really bad week this week and then you don't attend that call yeah you're just gonna it's gonna set you back and you you know whereas if you push yourself to make that you know make that weekly call it it definitely helps yeah and do yeah. you feel like your journey was like up and down or do you feel like you started at the bottom and you slowly went up? How do you feel your journey was? You know, I started at the bottom and definitely went up. Yeah. 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 I don't think I ever had a, a blip. I don't I think, think you ever. No. And I think because it's how, it's how you think about it as well. Cause I know that I, I felt so bad. I just know that I needed, I needed to do it. Yeah. You was motivated. Yeah, I was so, I was 100% motivated to do it. Mm. Yeah. I love so. that. It's all in the mindset. It's you can't help someone unless they're ready to be helped. No, 100%. Because, you know, last year, you know, I've been feeling like this for a couple of years since I had my last little boy. Um, yeah. And I kept thinking every week, oh, it's all right. I'll feel better next week. Yeah. I'll, I'll drink an, a couple more pints of water tomorrow and I'll feel all right. And I kept putting it back, putting it back. 
and I never felt better. Um, mm. So yeah, you just have to take that step, I think. Yeah. And so what was the real motivation behind that? Do you know? Um, I think for me, I just wanted to be a better parent. I, mm. it, my kids were, you know, I just felt like I wasn't being the best that I could be. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. So yeah, and then obviously doing the cravings, the three week cravings, that gave yeah. me the motivation then to think, well, there's got to be more to this. If I already feel better within this, within three weeks, just having breakfast and a few mm -hmm. little snacks, healthy yeah. snacks. Yeah. And so that gave me the motivation as well to then, you know, come on to the 12 week course. Mm. And you you you've said to me a couple of times that now I want to learn more about nutrition. You feel, it seems like you're quite um, you're kind of off on that journey now and want to learn more about it. Is that right? Yeah, I'm so interested in it. Yeah, because I, I do I do really believe that what you put into your body is is so it's so important. And I I never used to think that. You know, people have always said to me in the past, well, you know, what's your diet like? You know, maybe that's why you're feeling tired. And I'd roll my eyes as if so. <laughs> whatever but so true I really do believe what you put in your body is is huge yeah yeah and so do you feel that you've kind of achieved that goal the motivation was you wanted to be the best mum you can be do you feel that everything that you've done in the 12-week course the energy you've got back you know the headaches that have gone now do you feel like you can be the mum that you want to be that you feel that you wasn't you know fulfilling before yeah definitely yeah because you know, I, my kids always, I know kids are full of energy anyway, but I used to think, God, my kids have got so much more energy than me. You know, I should be the one that's, you know, got all the energy. Come on, kids, let's go out. I wasn't like, I just wanted to just, oh, I can't be bothered. Whereas now, you know, we'll go out, we're out for the day and I enjoy the whole day out and I've got the energy to enjoy it, you know? So yeah, yeah, yeah I do, I do. I feel so much better. Oh, that's so good. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Ashley. Um, it's been Thank you. Such, Thank you. Oh, it's been such a pleasure to work with you, to see your progress, to see you showing up and just taking action all of the time. And I think that you've nailed it on the head there where you just said you felt 100% committed. I think that's how you need to feel to actually get the success. Yeah, 100%. You have to just don't even think twice because that's what I used to do. Oh, it'll be all right, but it won't be. I think you have to think, no, I need to do something because once you do that, once you do it, yeah, be, yeah, big yeah. changes. Brilliant. I can't wait to see what's going to happen over the next few months with you as well. So we will stay connected. Uh -huh. Thanks for the interview and see you soon. Bye. Thanks, Anna. Bye. Bye.